So right now, nearly 800,000 people in the Kansas City area have received the COVID-19 vaccine. Leaders want that number to hit 2 million. Starting this morning and continuing throughout the day, we're committing extra time to help you better understand the process behind rolling out the vaccine. We actually spoke with one hospital exec who said simply sitting back and waiting for people to come in for their vaccine is not the answer. So this morning, 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan shows us how Truman Medical Center is finding success. This story starts at a hotel, not a hospital. If you lose that, yeah. A banquet hall pop-up clinic made it easy for Luis Ramos to physically get his COVID-19 vaccine. It was just like a regular shot, like getting um, like a flu shot. Ramos had some hesitancy, which mentally kept him from getting the vaccine right away. In the beginning, I was kind of like, oh, what's going to happen? I keep on rumors this, rumors that. Ultimately, protecting his three children under the age of 12 is the reason he says he's wearing a Band-Aid today. Day. Thinking about what if I get the virus and I'm the only person working, how are my children going to be supported? Ramos works here in the kitchen at Yard House and often weird late hours. So instead of waiting for him to come to the hospital, Truman Medical Center and University Health are focusing on bringing the vaccine to people. So Ramos can just walk a few blocks here to the Crown Plaza Hotel, which is partnered with Truman Medical Center and University Health. If you can't come to us, we'll figure out how to get it to you. This partnership with Crown Plaza, Yard House and Truman is all thanks to an outreach program we profiled last month. Reps from TMC University University Health went door to door, business to business, offering to collaborate in ways to make the vaccine more accessible. It's very successful. Uh, we're helping a lot of people that would have had trouble getting access uh, to normal hours of vaccine clinics. President and CEO Charlie Shields says the numbers prove this method is working. Daily new cases, hospitalizations, and deaths are all trending down in the metro. And for the first time since March 2020, there were only five COVID inpatients at Truman's two hospitals. At its peak, those hospitals treated more than 80 patients. So in six months, the health system has administered 122,000 vaccines, including one for Shields, which allowed him to celebrate Mother's Day with family. That's the kind of thing that I hope other families and other individuals have the same opportunity for. Ramos now has the opportunity to provide for his family. It's like looking in the mirror. And believes he's setting a good example for his kids and others. Just got to help each other out. Sooner or later, we'll get through it, I promise, guys, some way, somehow. The pandemic's exit is closer thanks to a proactive approach. In Kansas City, Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today. So this story is obviously about mobile vaccines, but we still want to stress you can walk into Truman Medical Centers with no appointment and get your vaccine. They're available Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 3.30 in the afternoon.